why was the Tonga underwater volcano eruption explosion so violent and what to expect now? This is by Shane Cronin, The Conversation on Science Alert. The Kingdom of Tonga does not often attract global attention, but a violent eruption of an underwater volcano January 15 has spread shockwaves, quite literally, around half of the world. The volcano is usually not much to look at. It consists of two small uninhabited islands, Hunga Haapi and Hunga Tonga, poking about 328 feet above sea level, about 40 miles north of Tonga's capital, Nuku'alofa. But hiding below the waves is a massive volcano, around 6,000 feet high and 12,500 miles wide. 12 and a half miles wide, sorry. Now, the Hunga Tonga, Hunga Haapi volcano, has erupted regularly over the past few decades. During events in 2009 and 2014 to 15, hot jets of magma and steam exploded through the waves, but these eruptions were small, dwarfed in scale by the January 2022 events, these events that we're having now. Our research into these early eruptions suggests that this one of the massive explosions the volcano is capable of producing roughly every thousand years. NIWA weather says high resolution Himawari satellite image of the volcano eruption in Tonga. Why are the volcano's eruptions so highly explosive given that seawater should cool the magma down? If magma rises into seawater slowly, even at temperatures of about 1,200 degrees Celsius, that's 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, a thin film of steam forms between the magma and water. This provides a layer of insulation to allow the outer surface of the magma to cool down. But this process does not work when magma is blasted out of the ground full of volcanic gas. When magma enters the water rapidly, any steam layers are quickly disrupted bringing hot magma in direct contact with cold water. Volcano researchers call this fuel-coolant interaction, and it is akin to weapons-grade chemical explosions. Extremely violent blasts tear the magma apart. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Then a chain reaction begins with new magma fragments exposing fresh hot interior surfaces to water and the explosions repeat, ultimately jetting out volcanic particles and causing blasts with supersonic speeds. Two scales of Hunga eruptions. The 2014-15 eruption created a volcanic cone joining the two old Hunga islands to create a combined island about 5 kilometers long, about 3 miles long. We visited in 2016 and discovered these historical eruptions were merely curtain raisers to the main event. Mapping the seafloor, we discovered hidden caldera about 150 meters below the waves. Now, this is a map of the seafloor showing the volcanic cones and massive caldera. Now the caldera is a crater-like depression around 3 miles or 5 kilometers across. Small eruptions such as 2009, 2014, 15 occur mainly at the edge of the caldera, but very big ones come from the caldera itself. And it has, as we can see here, the uh, craters, caldera in the middle, cones, to the uh, 11 o'clock position. And we see its position between Fiji and the, new, nor, the uh, North Island of New Zealand. That's the map there, Pacific uh, Ocean. Now these big eruptions are so large, the top of the eruption, the erupted magma collapses inward, deepening the caldera. And looking at the chemistry of past eruptions, we now think the small eruptions represent the magma system, slowly recharging itself to prepare for a big event. We found evidence of two huge past eruptions from Hunga caldera in deposits on the old islands. We matched these chemically to volcanic ash deposits on the largest inhabited islands of Tonga Tapu, 65 kilometers away, and then used radiocarbon dates to show 
that big caldera eruptions occur about every thousand years, with the last one about 1100 AD. So this is the timing of the large eruption. Could this be it? Now with this knowledge, the eruption of January 15 seems to be right on schedule for a big one, quote unquote. So what can we expect to happen now? We're still in the middle of this major eruptive sequence and many aspects remain unclear, particularly because the island is currently obscured by ash clouds and also it's underwater. Now the two early eruptions, December 20th, 2021 and January 13, 2022, were of moderate size. They produced clouds of up to 17 kilometers elevation and added new land to the 214-15 combined island. The latest eruption has stepped up scale in terms of violence. The ash plume is already about 12 kil 20 kilometers, that's 12 miles high. Most remarkably, it is spread out almost conc concentrically over a distance of about 130 kilometers from the volcano, repeating a plume with a 260 kilometer diameter before it was distorted by the wind. This demonstrates huge explosive power, one that cannot be explained by magma water interaction alone. It showed instead a large amount of fresh gas charged magma have erupted from the caldera. The eruption also produced a tsunami throughout Tonga and neighboring Fiji and Samoa. Shock waves traversed many thousands of kilometers, were seen from space and recorded in New Zealand some 2,000 kilometers away. Soon after the eruption started, the sky was blocked out on Tonga Tapu with ash being beginning to fall. All these signs suggest the large Hunga caldera was awoke awoken. Tsunami are generated by coupled atmospheric and ocean shock waves during an explosion, but they're also readily caused by submarine landslides and caldera collapses. It's, uh, it remains unclear if this is the climax of the eruption. It represents a major magma pressure release, which may settle the system. A warning, though, lies in geological deposits from the volcano's previous eruptions. These complex sequences show each of the 1,000-year major caldera eruptions episodes involved many separate explosion events. So there were many events between these huge 1,000-year explosions. Hence, we could be in for several weeks or even years of major volcanic unrest from the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano. For the sake of the people of Tonga, I hope not. This is by Shane Cronin, Professor Earth Sciences, University of Auckland, from the Conversation Creative Commons on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. So this is on time for the big one. Every thousand years, this erupts with a big eruption. Uh, and they don't know what to expect because it's underwater, as we said, and covered by ash. And uh, these are one of the things that we cannot control. We cannot control volcanic eruptions. We cannot control uh, celestial body impacts. Um, this is from an underwater uh, volcanic eruption, as we can see. Tremendous ash clouds. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.